हेलो रोमन वेलकम टू पार्ट नाइन एट ऑफ लारावल नाइन सीरीज इन विच रेड इन मल्टी वेंडर ई कॉमर्स वेबसाइट सो वी विल कॉन्टिन्यू वर्किंग ऑन दी एड टू कार्ड फंक्शनैलिटी इन दी लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन दैट वी एबल टू सिलेक्ट सम प्रोडक्ट एंड वी एबल टू क्लिक ऑन एड टू कार्ड एंड देन वी कैन सी दैट वी एबल टू गेट दिस रिजल्ट वी एबल टू गेट दी प्रोडक्ट आई डी साइज एंड क्वान्टी in the next page okay from where we are going to uh, submit this entry in the cars table okay we have created the cars table and we are going to submit this entry we are going to submit this uh, uh, user record user card item in the uh, in the cars table but before that there are two conditions we are going to add okay so these are the conditions that we are going to add before inserting the product in cars table one condition is the product size is not out of stock okay so we are going to check every size like this size is in stock or not we are going to check like this is the product id this is the size and uh, the user want the one uh, one quantity of this uh, attribute and it is available it is in stock or not and for that we are going to check in the product attributes table and we are going to compare it like this product id must be 2 and size is medium so 2 and size is medium this one okay we will get this one 2 medium and what the uh, user want user want one quantity so one uh, stock is there so yes we can able to add this one in our card table okay we can able to add this one in our card table because uh, we are having one stock of it so like this we will add this condition this is the one condition okay and the next one is that we are going to add product size not already exists in shopping cart so once you have added the uh, like this one is in stock and now we able to add it in our carts table and once we have added it in carts table and after that we can't able to add it again because the product that item is already there in the carts table how we can able to add that item again we can't able to add okay so for that we need to add this another condition we need to check whether this uh, product id size whether this product id with this size is already exist in the cards table or not if it does not exist then we are going to add if it exists then we will not add it at all okay so uh, let's start working on this one and uh, we are going to first modify uh, the product attribute uh, model okay we are we are going to add uh, one function okay so this one we have also done in the advanced e-commerce series but we are going to do in a better way uh, so i always advise you that this laravel 9 series uh, my friends of laravel 7 laravel 6 7 and 8 must follow this laravel 9 series as well because every time there is something new along with the multi vendor concept you will able to find the new code okay new code better code than before so it's always uh, always good thing to follow the new code okay so uh, so i'm going to add one function here uh, that will check whether the stock is available or not okay uh, so i'm going to create this function something like uh, uh, with name uh, public static function i am going to add its name uh, like is stock available is stock available stock available okay so uh, inside this i'm i would require two things uh, that we are going to pick from here one is the product id and another one is the size okay product id and another one is the size okay only these two things fine okay so now we can able to check here uh get product stock we will create this variable and we are going to check in the products attribute table and we are going to use the model okay so where condition in where condition we are going to check this product id uh, with the product id that is uh, coming uh, from the user and this size that the user is selecting that particular id that particular product with the side user is selecting okay so uh, yeah so we are going to check for this one 
first we can use the first year because just we require the result and whatever the result will come we are going to return that result uh, wherever we are calling this function we are going to return that uh, stock okay we are going to uh, just require the stock so uh, because stock we require get uh, so from that stock we will come to know that the stock is available or not because that function will tell that how much stock of this particular product is left okay so uh, we can also select the stock only it will make the query fast if you are going to select only the uh, required columns okay so now uh, this uh, function uh, we are going to add in our uh, uh, products controller add to card function that is the card add function products controller front end card add okay we have the few new function name card add not add to card this time okay better function name uh, that is recommended okay so uh, now i'm going to comment this one and first condition that i'm going to add here and that is i'm going to uh, give the command comments are really important so always give the command so that after one month when you will check your code you will easily uh, uh, identify that uh, what you have done that time otherwise it, it will be really tough okay so uh, now uh, once again we are going to use this variable get product stock here okay so we are going to call this function uh, from the uh, prox attribute okay uh, we as we have created in the prox attribute model so two things we need to pass here uh, from the user that is coming from the user user is selecting this product one is the product id and another one is the size okay so these two things we require so now we are going to uh, okay let's check first of all that what is coming exactly okay it uh, the result must be one as we are having the one stock for it so let's check it like uh, see here uh, we have already uh, checked for this one in the product attributes table uh, with this product id and site uh, product id is two and site is medium product id is two and site is medium and the stock is one so the output must be one so let's see what will come i'm going to refresh this one and we'll see here okay some other issue is coming get product stock call to undefined method some issue is coming here because it is saying that uh, my function name is not correct it is right because uh, this one function name is is stock available not get product stock okay so uh, we are going to make uh, this function name as is stock available okay uh, i think the function name is wrong is stock available uh, but uh, we need to make it like get product stock is more meaningful get product stock we are actually getting the product stock uh, we will use the get product stock here as well get product stock and now it seems to be better one okay so I'm going to refresh this one and now another issue is coming I'm going to check what issues uh, the get method is not part of this route post method is supported okay so it is giving issue for this particular card add function so I'm going to check this one card add function it is saying the data is not posted I'm going to uh, do once again let's see small add to card now it is working fine you can see the one is coming uh, as I have selected that medium now uh, sorry I have selected the small now this time I'm going to do the medium medium one as well both is having one one okay if in case I am going to make it two stock for the medium then see the output at this time the two will come this time okay medium we select the one quantity add to card c2 okay so it is working fine uh, now uh, we can simply add the condition here uh, like uh, I'm going to remove this one if now if the stock is less than the quantity if the stock of the product if the product stock is less than the quantity demanded by the user okay so one thing is here we are going to 
type this one if the stock is less than the quantity that the user desires okay that the user want see this one then it means uh, see we don't have that much stock then we are going to return uh, redirect back with the error message that the product is not in stock okay back with the error message with error message the required quantity is not available like this so we are going to check this one like uh, if i will make it zero or one more thing we can do like if i if the user want the three then three stock is not there so let's see what will happen add to card we are coming back to the page uh, it is not showing the error message because we have not mentioned there any kind of error message here so what we can do we have mentioned this lot of time that that div error and uh, div success okay uh, that we can uh, copy from the admin panel any page of the admin panel in fact okay we can see the success here uh, we can open some other page as well where we may have uh, both i'm going to check uh, okay use uh, admin in admin we have done lot of times i think products uh, edit product here maybe yeah we are having both okay here i'm going to copy this one and i'm going to paste it somewhere okay where we want to show this we can uh, show above this one here the error message will come i think that look uh, that will look fine so i can try here let's do once again i'm going to here uh, select this small and will three quantity required add to card and here you can see the error message is coming required quantity is not available okay so user uh, will try with the one then only it will work okay so it is working fine the one condition we able to add correctly okay now we can uh, just uh, close these pages okay so now we are going to add the another condition that is uh, the condition that we want here product size not already existing shopping cart okay so uh, see now we are going to add the item that product in the cars table okay uh, but uh, we are going to add the user is not logged in yet okay you can see the session id is here user id is here see we are going to use the default auth for the user i as i have told in the beginning of the series we are going to use the default auth uh, that web auth okay uh, with the user uh, but once the user is not logged in we are going to use the session we are going to use the session uh, for the card for add to card functionality okay for adding the products in the user card we are going to use the session for it once the user is logged in then we are going to use the user id then we are going to update the uh, records with the user id okay but right now we are going to use the session for for making the card of the user okay so that uh, the user can able to add those products uh, uh, in his card before entering before login or register okay before or login or register user can able to fill up his card okay so for that we require the session id so we are going to add the session here we need to start the session here okay so that the user can able to add the product in his card without logging in okay so uh, we are going to do, do here generate session id that we required for the car table if not exist okay if it already exists okay once we have created the session id then we are not required to create it again okay so here we are going to add it like this session id uh, as we are going to put in uh, the session first of all we will try to check like is there any session is there any already exist session if yes if it is empty then we are going to 
add the new session we are going to create the new session id okay if it is empty it means that no session id exists okay in that case we are going to add the new session id session and there is one function to create the session id that is the get id uh, to create some alphanumeric uh, okay uh, alphanumeric variable okay so this session id uh, we are going to uh, make the session variable uh, okay and we are going to put in that and this will call as the session id okay we are going to put this one here fine okay so now we have the session id if it does not exist then we are going to use the session id if it exists then we are going to use the current session id so that we can uh, add the products to the current session id of the user okay so after this now we are ready to add products in user card table okay so after that we can able to add product in user card table save product in cards table so here we are going to do it like this item new card we are going to see card model must be already there we have created in last video you can able to see it's already there okay card table so we can use this model here okay uh, so now the first one is the session id that we have just created session id we are going to add this session id sorry we are going to add this session id here and after this uh, the next one is the product id product id that user uh, user want to buy product id and then the size that user want particular size that user selects at the detail page then the quantity that user adds at the detail page okay particular quantity that user want okay and session id product id see user id will remain as zero okay uh, so it does not contain uh, one thing we can do here uh, we can uh, store the uh, no, uh, uh, we can make it as null uh, i think the error may come if we will not add any user id so let's see what will happen otherwise we will make it null then we are going to save this okay now finally uh, we are going to return redirect back after saving after inserting the product we are going to use the return redirect back with the success message and then uh, we will give message here product has been added in cart okay so now it is fine now we can check here uh, we are ready now let's see here make sure that we have added the session uh, we have added the card also we require to add the model another model we are required to add that is the card model okay add this model at the top and now uh, see we must uh, and it must work fine uh, now instead of the error message uh the uh, product add machine must come small with one quantity add to cart let's see oh sorry see i have told you that user id issue can come because uh, user id is empty so in that case we need to modify our cart table uh, we will make the user id here we will change it to the null okay so in case the user id is not there we are going to assign the null value to the user id okay so we are going back now now we are try, going to try once again now there must be no issue uh, come let's see small add to card and let's see the product has been added in card finally we able to add the product in card okay you, we are going to check here 
see the product has been added in car we able to generate the new session id that we have stored in the cars table and there is no user id so we have assigned the null uh, see product id size and quantity with the credit at and update at time is coming okay now the user can able to add one more product like if we will move to some other product here uh, we will choose some other product from the colors small product of this one and we am going to use the two quantity here add to cart let's see product has been added in cart with the two quantity this time i'm going to check now with the same session id it must be added with the same session id as session id will remain the same if the uh, user same user is going to add products in his cart so let's see see the session id remains the same because the same user have added the products in card without logging in okay here you can see the now it has been added with the product id 4 with the small side and this time the quantity are 2 so it is working fine we able to add the products in our card okay so in next video we are going to work on the cards table we are going to make the shopping cart page for the first time uh, we are going to start working on the shopping cart page in this series uh, where we are going to show all the products added by the user okay uh, and uh, that can be that the user can able to update them update quantity user can able to apply the coupon as well user can able to remove the card item so many things we are going to do in the shopping cart page okay uh, so see we are just going to show the shopping cart page in the next video in the next few videos uh, we are going to cover the shopping cart page and after that we are going to work on the login register okay login register user functionality so we will uh, uh, see pick up the pace now and we will do in a fast pace okay so that we can cover up this series very soon we will complete we want to complete this series uh, in next few months okay so stay tuned for that that's all for now have a nice time goodbye